What is up everybody, Ness here. Welcome back to Shovel Knight. We're continuing right where we left off last time, trying to get back into it. This episode, I think we're heading into the third phase of the game. Oh god, I almost just died already. Uh, I think I'm just going to be using punchy hands for these guys from now on, because they're giving me trouble with the normal shovel. I feel like I had a strategy, I really do, but I, I can't think of anything. Maybe I just like completely ignored those enemies and used the... Uh, what is it called? The bracelet for him? But, I can't tell, so I'm just gonna keep going on. One of the things I was thinking about was the games that I plan to play on the channel eventually, and I was looking at the list that me and my buddy made, and a couple of them stood out to me, like the Half-Life games, which I've never beaten either of them. Well, there's like four, technically five now. With you by our side, Black Knight, total dominion is within our grasp. I beg of you, take my words to heart. Your safety is my only concern. Was that the Enchantress? Tell me what... You. Haven't you tired of this trade? Stay out of this. You never were one to blindly follow, Black Knight, but the Order and the Enchantress must be stopped. Fool, you're headed down a ruinous path. The only path I seek leads to the Tower of Fate, and I will reach it. Never steal die shovel. So we're back with Black Knight for the rematch. Much stronger than last time. At least I hope so. <laughs> it could be uh, just as bad of a performance as last time. Kind of starting off that way. Uh oh. Okay, not doing too. Uh, not doing too good right now. I need to reflect those. I'm trying to be too aggressive for sure. Wow, look at him go. Doing the thing that I said I need to do. How about two bounces? Into a charge slash, into two bounces. Into a charge slash fireball for fun. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so I was thinking about playing the Half-Life games. I want to play the Portal games, I want to play, eventually I want to play the Peggle games, I know they're kind of goofy, but that's the whole point, I love Peggle. And I want to play, I don't need to use the shortcut, this will take me back to the, I heard that there is a super hidden double secret in the Hall of Champions, where could it be? Wow, I wish I found this NPC on my first playthrough, because I never could find the second secret when I originally played. Now I think this is where I need to spend 10k, right? Admission for one will be 5,000. One, please. Okay, it's 5,000, not 10,000. So I definitely could have spent more, but... We're here now. In the Hall of Champions. Ah, this place is haunted. There are ghosts roaming all hallways, and we're all trapped here. That includes you. <laughs> so are you going to do something about it? So the Hall of Champions is a great level that is an entire... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? This is a dedicated level to the people that kickstarted the game. So everything in here is, well, you'll see in a second, ghosts can only be killed by light. Wow, I can't believe I managed to thread the needle and put it through both of them. And there should be another ghost in here somewhere, but where's he at? Do I have to break one of these? No. There he is, ghosty. After you kill all of them, you see the lights turn on, and now we can see little representations of all of the Kickstarter backers. I like this one, the dinosaur looking face. Also, this person with pink lips. Super cool. Super duper cool. Heading up to the next room, though. Got a secret over here. Oops. Cultured fellow. Cultured Fellow is this person's name? I just... Whatever. Oh great, you blew my secret hiding spot. Now the ghost will find us both. Nah, that'll be fine. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Busted makes me feel good, you know what I mean? That was one thing I really liked about the coin. Is that the coin would, um... The coin would let you know where there's... Uh... Places to jump. 
and where there's not, but I guess this room they're trying to use these statues to signify the holes in the ground. I never really realized that before. I just... I had the coin immediately in the last... when I first played the game, and I just used the coin to uh, get through rooms like that. And then... I just ha knew in my future playthroughs where all of those things were. So this is a pretty mean ghost right here. I can see a lot of people struggling to find this ghost, because... I mean, obviously you're supposed to be hitting all the walls in the game, but like... That ghost is just kind of mean. And I think there's another one up here, yeah. Okay. Another room full of the beautiful backers. Look at these folks. Literally the reason that this game got to be made. I can't believe I saved up all my money for this. <laughs> I've learned during my travels that ghosts that ghosts hate light. Now you know too. Yes, yeah, so I could imagine some people not fight figuring out the light thing until this room. Right here. I think this is the first room that they give you the light orb without any uh like you don't have to hit a secret wall or anything to find it. I don't think there's a secret in this room, so I think we just kill these ghosties, and then we move on. I thought I had him. Oh, man. So he has, he's immune when you... Wow, the... The, the uh, the, the grounded strike thing is coming in. Not clutch right now. Okay. And look who it is right here. This is Mr. Aaron Game Grump himself. Anyway, moving on. I don't know who this is. I can't tell if this is like um, Jacksepticeye or not. I can't tell. It looks like him though. But this person looks like a Viking. He could be Yogg's Cast. He could be Joel from Vine Sauce. They are Vikings, both of them. So <clears throat> in this room, we have a secret. What do you say? Ha! The ghost will never reach me in here. Solid walls, my friend. Totally safe. Wow, what an absolute lie. Because in this room, after grabbing this treasure, of course, and grabbing this note, if we head over here... What, is it not here? Do the lights have to be on to go? I feel... Oh, was it left? I don't remember. I could have swore that was the room with the double secret. I was getting real cocky and everything. You could literally hear me getting super cocky about it. Now I don't remember where the double secret is, and now I'm feeling maybe I already missed it. Either way, worst case scenario, I'll come back for it at the beginning of another episode. Yeah, the... The attack that comes out of your staff on the ground hasn't been helping me out very much. After lighting all the rooms, we get to fight King Boo himself. This is a kind of a neat boss. Oh, I'm playing kind of bad though. I'm just juggling the balls around, not even thinking about actually trying to hit them. Which is absolutely not how you play a, getting, a game at all. Okay. I'll be fine though. It's not particularly hard boss, and I don't think it takes too many hits, honestly. Yeah, just juggle. I'm a juggler. I'm actually, I've never been able to juggle in real life, which is really funny. Because, like, I have pretty decent hand-eye coordination, but juggling's just been a challenge for me. I can only juggle two. I can never juggle three or higher. When people, when I see people juggling like seven, it blows my mind. I know that at some point, I think like after three, maybe four, it becomes just kind of a a pattern of hand movements. Like you learn how you have to throw the ball to have it go a certain way, and then you just move your hands in relation to that throw rather than actually trying to like actively catch them. I mean, of course, you're gonna have to make small micro adjustments with your brain to actually. Thank you so much for saving us from the ghost menace. How thoughtless of me not telling you the place was haunted. Then again, that's the risk you run paying for something in advance before you know the details. 
please let me reward you for your bravery. Yeah, so that's a little nod to the the uh, starter backers. Now I know for a fact that I'm stupid. Well, we already knew that. We've known that for, you know, 30-something episodes at this point of all of the games, but one of these secrets has another secret in it, and I could have swore it was the bottom left one. Maybe the lights have to be on first, honestly, but I'll double-check all of the walls just to be safe, because I don't remember. And we'll get one more run through the actual faces of the Kickstarter backers who helped make my one of my favorite games. I almost said my game, like I made this game. I wish I could have made this game. I wish I could have kickstarted it. I've never been in like a financially safe enough space to have enough money to comfortably donate to Kickstarter, stuff like that. I would love to back all of these types of games that I love, but I really just can't afford it right now, so someday I would love to. But that is not today. Yeah, I could have swore there was another secret in one of these rooms. Maybe it comes later. Oh, no, it's right here. I just didn't dive down. We get this special ticket. I wonder what that could be. Map with a weird symbol, and there are some extra markings here. Interesting. Interesting. I'll have to find out what that is later. Not right now, but for now, we're going to head out of this building. Get one more view of these people. I think it's really funny how a couple of them have like the special YouTuber faces, like Game Grump Aaron has the face that doesn't even look like a face, and then everyone next to him just has normal looking faces. Oh, secret level, huh? I don't think we're gonna touch that level quite yet, but soon enough, soon enough. Propeller Knight, Polar Knight, Tinker Knight. Out of these three, I think the least interesting to me is Tinker Knight. I think we'll head for him first, get him out of the way. He does have a... He has an interesting uh, level, though. I mean, I say the least interesting to me like it's a bad thing, but he, he still has a fantastic level that I really like, so... I probably could have went back and upgraded my mana, but... Not too worried about that yet. I like clockwork themed levels in games. I remember there's a clockwork themed level in... Oh, what game is that? Is that Castlevania 1? Or is that Castlevania... Rondo of Blood? I don't remember. It's one of the Castlevania games that I never actually played, but I watched. And... It's just a really cool level with a lot of jumping between... The spinning gears and stuff, and I feel like people actually hate that level now that I'm thinking about it. But I could be wrong. Another one that comes to mind is like, uh, si not clockwork, but like similar aesthetic, uh, Metal Man's level from Mega Man 2. Absolutely love Mega Man 2, definitely plan to play all them. Might have mentioned that already, actually, but will reiterate that those games will be coming eventually. I don't know if I plan to play them in numerical order. Probably for the best, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it that way. It would be kind of funny if I uploaded like Mega Man 2 and then Mega Man 3 and then Mega Man 6 and then Mega Man 1. <laughs> but this level is pretty standard, pretty standard. I, some of my buddies have been watching the old Unstrong videos and man, it's, it's crazy. When I started recording stuff, or when I was watching how am I trying to word what I'm trying to word right now? I would watch people like Game Grumps and um, Vine Sauce and all of them, Simple Flips, and it's like, you know, they'll make a joke and then somebody will mention that joke like a month later and they'll be like, I can even remember I made that joke. And I was like, how could you not remember these hilarious, amazing jokes that you made? They're so funny. How could you ever forget them? And now it's like, I don't even remember what I talked about in the first two episodes of Shovel Knight, which I recorded uh, two days ago. It's like, how am I ever going to remember jokes that I made, you know, a month ago or three months ago? 
or any kind of weird comments that I made. I can't believe I got ratted. <laughs> this guy literally dive on me. He saw an opportunity to take my life and he took it. I can't believe it. I mean, I can believe it completely. But I can't believe it at the same time, you know what I mean? Also, I always thought these gears... I'll, I'll show you. Like right here you have the gear pushing left and right, and then in the middle you have this rotating thing that's causing them to get pushed. I always thought the rotating thing in the middle looked like a steak. Like the stereotypical steak that you see in like TV shows and stuff where it's like... Uh, oh man, I forget what that steak's actually called. Like I know that uh, that kind of steak has like a name, but like, what is it? I can't believe I got ratted again. Are you serious? I'm getting punished for not knowing about steak. I'm getting ratted. I wonder if rat meat is even good. I think most forms of meat is probably pretty good. I can't believe I thought that would work. I've always had a problem with fish. I don't really like seafood at all. I'm a very big chicken person. And then beef after that. And then like, uh... Pork. Love pork. And then, I mean, like, of course, like, stuff like turkey and stuff is great. Bird is fantastic. Mammal is good too. But like fish wait, I birds are mammals, aren't they? No. I what it makes a mammal mammal? Isn't a mammal like it reproduces by uh not laying an egg? Am I might no. I'm very I don't remember. It's been like almost a decade since No, it's been over a decade since I took any sort of any form of like biology class biology for me was definitely what sophomore year of high school which I think was 2012 yeah so definitely been like a decade since I took any form of like biology class like that to know what's going on with that I don't remember what the main difference is between a mammal and are birds mammals I don't oh, man I feel stupid not knowing this but whatever either way bird great greatest type of meat ever and now we get the wheel I absolutely love the wheel lets you go over spikes lets you run across the floor another very underutilized item in my opinion I think they could have done a lot more with the wheel and it jumps for you I remember the first time I I brought this game to one of my friends house and he didn't read the dialogue or Maybe it doesn't tell you, I don't remember. I didn't read the dialogue, I'm sorry. But he didn't know that it jumped and he tried to jump off of it and fell right in the first pit there. And it was it was very funny. He was he always had the funniest moments with these games. There was one time we were playing Breath of the Wild and if you know anything about that game, you know, you have the Great Plateau. And you get off the Great Plateau and you can go basically anywhere. He went straight to Hyrule Castle, four hearts. We get there, and we're playing hero mode, by the way, because we thought it would be funny. If why doesn't he just play hero mode for his first playthrough ever? And I mean, it was, it was funny. We go straight to the castle, um, and when we get there, he use you have to use the Magnesis rune that lets you move metal objects to open the main doors of the castle, and he's standing next to the door swings the door open, hits himself with the door, and then we have to replay like half an hour of content because the door instantly kills him from like full health. Because I, I believe you take double damage in hero mode, something like that. And he had like t two and a half to not three hearts left. I said full health, but I mean almost full health. You know when you're playing a game, you're playing Counter-Strike and you're like, right, it's got one shot, but you only actually had like 75 health. You're playing League and like, you know, a guy bursts you down with like a full, like you get CC'd into a full combo in League of Legends. And you're like, man, I just died from full. But you actually only had like 70% health at the start of it. That's what I mean. That's just a standard, standard dictation, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know if that's the correct use of that word, but I'm going to say it. Continue it forward. We've been introduced to some cool mechanics so far in this level. We got these platforms that rotate that let you jump infinitely in them. Never really... How do I want to say it? I, I've always had 
like slight problems with these like weird 3D perspective type things in 2D games. Like I never really understood like, are these rotating and I'm like sliding off of it? Or am I just kind of like, because I mean, in reality I'm just falling through that. It's a 2D sprite and I'm just falling through it. I can't believe I remembered that those fall from the ceiling and managed to not die to it instantly. Because I was coming close to dying to that instantly. <laughs> I've been skipping the fishing spots in the levels because I don't per uh, don't particularly plan to collect all the notes and everything, so I'm not very worried about getting all the fish. I think there's a couple that are notes, but I can't believe I fell again. I'm just scared of getting hit by their their attack. Let me kill this guy. All right, if I fall again, we're just finishing this area. But this is very, um, this level is very, or not this level, this room is very, I can't believe it, I threw. This room is very much similar to, uh, what boss is that in Mega Man? Crash Man? No. Air Man? No. Crash Man. It has to be Crash Man, right? The one where you like climb the tower and it has like the Cory in the House mu music. You know, you guys have heard Cory in the House featuring Air Man, right? Okay, this is where this leads. I thought so, but I completely forgot, so I had to double check. You guys know about Cory in the House featuring Crash Man or whoever it is. I don't remember. Either way, auto scrolling room. Auto scrollers suck in all games. The only auto-scrollers that are good are the auto-scrollers where, as you progress, it automatically, like, forces the screen to move with you. Like, um, if you guys have played Super Smash Bros. Melee, it has a level based on Ice Climbers called Icicle Mountain. And it's an auto-scroller where it goes up, but if you outpace the screen, the camera will jump to follow you, so you can do it at your own pace. But the slowest you can go is the pace that they give you, which is great, because... I would like to do this faster, but I can't because I don't have it memorized to do it off screen. I forgot about these rotating things entirely, but continuing on. Tinker Knight. Ah! Did you make all that noise? I can't think straight. I have so much work to do. How about you just work on letting me pass, little friend? Ooh, big words didn't man. I'll show you a little thing or two. So he has a funny mechanic where you can actually just ride this into him, and he dies instantly. But, not actually, in er, interestingly, not actually, in I can't say it, not actually instantly because phase 2, Mecha Tinker Knight, which is pretty cool that Tinker Knight actually gets a mech. I'm pretty sure if you play this correctly, which I'm definitely not going to, because I'm, you know, terrible. Pretty sure you can just stay on top of him like the whole time. But I I don't remember how to do it. I know I've 100 to 0 this boss before. Okay. I think I can keep bouncing here. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm getting in the rhythm. I'm getting in the rhythm. No. Oh, okay. Alright. Tinker Knight down. The first boss of phase three. I never I never knew how I felt about this game follows the Mega Man formula of having eight robot masters, but they're knights. I don't actually don't know if there's eight, there might be seven. But I've never counted. But it has a bunch of bosses, and ooh, a pharaoh, huh? I don't know how I felt. I never knew how I felt about them doing it in like a specific order. I always thought that it would be better. What magic is this? Power, honor, the traits of a respectable warrior. Sir, I don't believe we've met. We meet today on the field of battle. We have both defeated many knights and traveled far. Today, we fight. Stand aside. You and I have no reason to battle. 
conflict is a reason unto itself, Brave Knight. Today you will be tested. Are you ready? This boss is really cool. He has a cool moveset. His arena looks really pretty. Um, I I feel like I always prefer in Mega Man where it's like it lets you pick what Robot Master, but it also at the same time in this game, something like this. Having it like do two and then two and then three, or two then three then three. Yeah, that's eight. Your skills are as fast as I thought. I shall follow your journey from the shadows. Farewell, Shadowman. Yeah, Phantom Striker's cool. I feel I feel like he has another fight in one of the other campaigns, and it's way harder. But the idea of them uh, having them divided by these areas means that they can have progression instead of it being every level has to be relatively the same, and some levels are just crazy harder. I do not have the item to go here yet, so I'm leaving. But I think, I think I'm going to hit up the town, finish maxing out my magic meter after turning in a couple more notes. Tinker Knight. Actually, you know what? Well, since we're here, uh, which one is it? Number, number 11? I don't think I have the one that I want. No, here it is. Look at him playing this. On that guitar, fiddle, whatever that is. How could he even play music like that? I'm gonna grab our magic upgrades. I think it maxed at 100, or is it maxed at 90? It does max at 100. Okay, cool. Alrighty. I got max mana. We'll have a peek at what items I could buy. I think I want to get the. Throwing anchor? I might as well just buy all three of them, right? Why not? Yeah, screw it. Got infinite money, might as well buy all three of them. Oh, the music I want to whistle along to is so badly, but that's just so good. Strike the Earth is so good. I can't wait to hear the Mira, Mira, Mina. I, I keep forgetting if it's Mira or Mina. The, the Game Boy Zelda game that they're making next. I can't wait to hear the music in that. It's going to go right in the playlist. But I think for now, we'll end this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, drop a like below. A sub to the channel would also be great. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.